Hi friends, this is Angelica. Thanks for joining me here on the Greetery YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be introducing a really fun stamp and stencil set that is in the Greetery's new Christmas collection, which will be in the shop tomorrow, October 7th. This is the new Cooking Up Christmas Stamp and Stencil Set. The stamp set is full of accessory stamps that coordinate with the stencils. There's also two sentiments um, in the stamp set that's in a really fun retro font. There are three stencils and the images on the stencils are spaced out so you can use different colors. Um, there's also a coordinating die set. So I'm going to be making two cards to show different ways to use these products. For the first project, I'm going to be following the included stamp and stencil guide. This guide shows how to make a full one layer card front. So I'm starting with the stencils and I've lied, lined my card panel up with the um, guidelines. There's A2 rectangle guidelines on the stencils. And I'm going to be using Distress Oxide inks to color with. I've already used Candied Apple ink for the bow and candy cane. And I made sure to wipe off the excess ink on, on, that's on the stencil before moving on to the next area. The bottom areas of the stencil are the inside of a mixing bowl and a mug handle and rim. So I used antique linen to replicate batter for the bowl and peacock feathers for the mug. The second stencil really starts putting the scene together. I started with the coffee mug using salvaged patina and then salt water taffy for the mixing bowl. I think these two colors are so fun together. I picked weathered wood for the milk jug and salt shaker. And since this is such a, um, it can be a really dark color, I used a really light hand so the areas didn't get too dark. The last area on the stencil is the mistletoe and I used bundle sage to ink that with. The third stencil adds two cookies and the beverage of choice um, for the coffee mug. It also adds two measuring spoons, a wooden spoon to the mixing bowl and the tops to the milk jug and the salt shaker. And then there's also berries to the mistletoe. Moving on to the stamping, we are starting with details for the stenciled images. There's swirls for the coffee and for the batter, uh, wood grain for the wooden spoon. The measuring spoons will get a side shadow and the cookies get really cute frosting swirls. I'm still using Distress Oxide ink, so the stamping did take a little bit of time because I stamped each image a few times for um, really bright impressions. I just finished up with the shadow lines for the milk jug and shaker, and then I'm moving on to the accent stamps that go around the images. I just love the little red hearts that are coming out of the shaker, the little salt shaker. It's just such a sweet touch. I'm going to finish with shadow lines on the cookies, and then we're going to move on to stamping the words. I aligned all the words on the panel, and then I stamped them with VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink. This is a gorgeous black pigment ink. It, but it does need some time to dry and I'm going to show you why I'm telling you this in just a minute. Now for the small stamps, I'm going to use small acrylic, um, small acrylic blocks. I don't trust myself too often to hand stamp since there's really no do-overs, but I tried my best to stamp the images evenly. I did mess up a few times, but that's okay. Um, so right here, this is why Pigment ink needs time to dry. I wanted to add some color to the edges of the panel and I ended up smearing the black ink on the bowl. I was not happy. So I put that panel aside and I restarted the process. I did make sure to ink the edges this time before adding the words. And since I stamped the words last time in black, uh, I thought I would see what it looks like with brown ink. So here you can see them side by side together. Instead of throwing the bad panel away, I decided to die cut the images using the coordinating dies. And I've put them um, onto black cardstock so you can see what the images look like die cut. And now we're going to make a second card with them. I'm going to use a stencil from the new A2 Arches stencil set for my background. There are seven stencils in this set and there's guidelines on each stencil to line your panel with. The middle of each stencil comes out so you do get a mask um, in each size also. I'm going to do a quick blend of summer shower blue to make an arched background and then I'm going to use my Misty to stamp a sentiment. 
I did a quick arrangement of the images on the panel so I knew where I wanted the sentiment to be and I stamped it with the um, VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink. I attached the panel to a sea salt card base and added the images with different sizes of foam squares. And then I stamped a few black stars around the images to finish the card. So that's the introduction to the new Cooking Up Christmas Stamp and Stencil set. This is such a fun concept and these images are absolutely adorable. I can see most of these images being used year round too, especially if you have a few bakers in your family like I do. Be sure to head over to the Greetery blog to see details on all of the new products in this gorgeous Christmas collection, which will be in the Greetery shop tomorrow. I'm so excited. Christmas card making season is my favorite. That's all that I have for today. I want to thank you so much for stopping by. Take care, friends.